The Life and Legacy of Madam C.J. Walker by Kenyatta Collins. Madam C.J. Walker was born Sarah Breed Love on December 23rd of 1867. She was born on a cotton plantation known as the Bernie Plantation in Delta, Louisiana. Her parents, Owen and Minerva, were recently freed slaves, and Sarah, who's their fifth child, was the first in her family to be born free. Both her parents had died from unknown causes, leaving Sarah to become an orphan at the age of seven. Afterwards, she moved in with her sister and brother-in-law. The three moved to Vicksburg, Mississippi in 1877, where Sarah picked cotton and was likely employed doing household work, although no documentation exists verifying her employment at the time. At age 14, to escape both her oppressive working environment and the frequent mistreatment she endured at the hands of her brother-in-law, Sarah married a man named Moses McWilliams. On June 6 of 1885, Sarah gave birth to her daughter, Alilia. When Moses died two years later, Sarah and Alilia moved to St. Louis, where Sarah's brothers had established themselves as barbers. There, Sarah found work as a washerwoman earning $1.50 per day, just enough to send her daughter to the city's public schools. Sarah also attended public night school whenever she could. While in St. Louis, Bree Love met her second husband, Charles J. Walker, who worked in advertising and would later help promote her hair care business. During the 1890s, Sarah Bree Love developed a scalp disorder that caused her to lose much of her hair. In an attempt to improve her condition, she began to experiment with both home remedies and store-bought hair care treatments. In 1905, Bree Love was hired as a commission agent by Amy Turbo Malone, a successful black hair care product entrepreneur, and then moved to Denver, Colorado. While there, Bree Love's husband, Charles, helped her create advertisements for a hair care treatment for African Americans that she was perfecting. Her husband also encouraged her to use the more recognizable name, Madam C.J. Walker, by which she was thereafter known. In 1907, Walker and her husband traveled around the South and Southeast promoting her products and giving lecture demonstrations of her Walker method, involving her own formula for pomade brushing and the use of heating combs. On May 25, 1919, at the age of 51, Madam C.J. Walker died of hypertension at the estate home she had built for herself in Irvington on Hudson, New York. At the time of her death, Walker was sole owner of her business, which was valued at more than $1 million. Her personal fortune was estimated between $600 to $700,000. Today, Walker is widely credited as one of the first American women to become a self-made millionaire. Walker left one-third of her estate to her daughter, Alilia Walker, who would also become well-known as an important part of the cultural Harlem Renaissance. Walker left the remainder of her fortune to various charities. Walker's funeral took place at her home, Villa Lawaro in Irvington on Hudson, which was designated a National Historic Landmark. She was later buried at Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx, New York. In 1927, the Walker Building, an art center that Walker had begun work on before her death, was opened in Indianapolis, an important African-American cultural center for decades. It is now a registered National Historic Landmark. In 1998, the United States Postal Service issued a stamp of Madam C.J. Walker as part of its Black Heritage Series.